Hello everyone, welcome back to Edible Abundance Homestead. I'm Ginger and today is March 24th. Um, it's Tuesday again, so I'm out here with my baggie of radish seeds. I actually dumped all the rest of my radish seeds into this bag and I'm thinking I might want to grab a couple more packets of radish seeds. Um, I'm on my third row today, so let me get a little closer. Here's the first row, looking good, growing. That's from two weeks ago. Here's the second row. Um, didn't sprout as quickly as that first row. We had one warm day last week and the rest were pretty cold. So I think that probably had something to do with it. We also got some pretty heavy rain and I did notice some of my seeds were uncovered. So I went down that second row and I poked a quite a few seeds back under the ground, back in, into the dirt and covered them up. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully they'll be okay. <laughs> um, it was not all of them. It was as I walked along, I was like, hey, that kind of looks like radish seed. And so I just went through and poked them back down. And then anyway, here's my, I just finished my third row here. Um, obviously nothing much to see yet. So what I thought I would show you is what else I have going on in my garden right now. Um, so first here, so um, this year we have moved around our tomato cattle panels and the arches. So I've got my arches down here and underneath the arches I have greens growing. Now I started some greens inside this winter to kind of mixed results. I don't know. Um, it's good because the ones that you can see are the ones that I started inside. Now if you look closely here, there are, these are the ones I planted from seeds. So I went and I planted like a big plant and then a couple seeds and then another big plant and then a couple seeds. So obviously the ones that I started inside do have a pretty decent head start. Um, quite a few of them didn't survive, but I feel like enough did survive that it was probably worth it if it gets me a harvest a couple weeks earlier. Um, so anyway, here I have bok choy. I have a red pak choy. This is my first time growing both of those. I got them in a seed swap, so fun. Um, underneath the middle arch there, I just have spinach. Uh, I started spinach inside and it mostly bolted before I even had a chance to plant it out. So I just tossed spinach seeds out here instead. Um, and then past that at the very end there is Swiss chard. And same thing, a big plant, then a couple of seeds, and then a big plant, and then a couple of seeds. Um, so that's, they're doing well. Um, they, some of them had a little bit of transplant shock. Um, I had tried to harden them off a bit, but I did get a quite a bit of uh, individual leaves actually kind of dying in the sun when I transplanted them. But for the most part, the plants are bouncing back fine. Um, down here I have some, I think that was lettuce I planted there. And then a row that hasn't even sprouted yet of parsley and one of green like bunching onions and they haven't sprouted yet. Um, and then down here along this uh, panel is another row of lettuce. Um, I planted the seeds really thick and they seem to have germinated very, very well. So I'll probably have some of those just as like baby greens. Um, I also just the other day planted some arugula. It was like two days ago. So I'm sure it's, there's nothing to see there yet. Um, I tried it out of a mix lettuce seed pouch um, growing in a I, uh, bag underneath a little cover and I thought it was amazingly good and I've had arugula before and it was good but it wasn't that impressive and then I had this stuff that I had grown and it's it was amazing so I bought more arugula seeds to plant out here really quickly because I know that bolts super super quickly uh, once it gets a little bit warm so I should be able to get a harvest off it yet um, on these panels that are where I put my tomatoes in the summer, I planted peas. Now, the peas I planted on these first 
three and a half um, were seeds that were given to me. And I knew when I got them, they were a little bit old. But I mean, they were like a couple years. We're not talking like 10 years old. We're talking like two or three years old. So I thought they'd be fine. But I'm noticing that those peas are having some pretty slow sprouting. And I'm starting to wonder if they're this seed was just either too old or, you know, someone might have stored it improperly or something. So I'm debating if I have time to grab some more pea seeds and plant some more because the new seeds that I planted, I got these from Baker Creek just this year, are all doing great. You can see how many of them there are. Um, almost 100% germination on those and you know they've already got a good inch of growth on them too so I don't really want to go out and buy more pea seeds I might try ordering them but then I feel like I feel like I'm kind of racing the clock right now with peas they really should be um, in and growing because it's going to get hot and also because I'm going to use these trellises for tomatoes so um, as I have tomatoes ready to be put out here in like probably the beginning of May or so depending on what the weather does um, maybe mid-May these are getting pulled for the tomatoes because the tomatoes get the priority so anyway <clears throat> I got to make a quick decision on that because if I'm going to try to plant more pea seeds they need to be planted as soon as possible. Um, so then over here, there's not, you know, there's not a lot to see because it's mostly just very, very small plants. Um, let me go, we'll go this way. Okay, so I have an area of carrots. Then I have that kale that was also the plants I started inside, um, same as the other greens. Um, I have just some kind of the blue scotch kale, and then I have some red Russian kale. Um, I have in the middle here, there's four rows of beets. I did all different kinds of beets this year. I bought some golden beets, the Kyoga beets, and just some of the kind of more traditional, I think, Detroit dark red beets and bull's blood. I think I tried bull's blood. I have all the packets. So I have to double check. And then um, over here, these are the brassicas that I started inside. And as you can see, some blank spots here. Um, again, I did harden these off. I left, I, they were outside for quite a few days before I transplanted them. But gosh, a lot of them just really sunburnt badly and just kind of shriveled up. So that's unfortunate. Um, I have some kohlrabi that I started that's still very small because it was something else I got in a swap and so I planted it as soon as I got it but it was later than this stuff so I'm thinking maybe once the kohlrabi gets a bit bigger I will fill in the gaps with it and also going down the middle here I planted some uh, cilantro um, on the other side of my cattle panels over there I scattered some kale and some spinach seeds just in the space that I had because I didn't want to waste the space and that's pretty much it for my spring garden. I did actually for the first time, so here's my strawberry area. The chickens tore it apart and the, it looks better than it's looked in probably two years. So apparently letting chickens tear your strawberry patch apart is not a bad thing. Um, I got some asparagus and so I planted some asparagus crowns right along here. Um, so this is my first time trying asparagus. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I know it's it's going to be a bit of a wait to do any actual harvesting. Um, so that's pretty much it for today, I think. Just out here, you know, doing what I can. Um, continuing to succession plant those radishes and debating what to do about these peas. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.